All right, well, I've got a very interesting little project here that I kind of stumbled into. I watch Granddad's videos a lot because uh, they're similar to the kind of stuff I like to do. And he was working with a pulse motor that didn't have a coil. It just had a, a piece of wire to try to show that there's a magnetic field that builds up around a, a wire when you run a current through it. And it doesn't really have to be a coil. It can just be a wire. And it's very true and very accurate, but he had a terrible time getting his motor to work and things heated up and all that. So I thought I'd spin off and look at that too. And I found this um, phone cord, that solid core wire, and started making up some little coils. And I found one here that's about a dozen turns that gets the job done really good on just a um, AA battery. And how I did it was I put a 3-volt incandescent light bulb in series with it to cut the amp draw down and it's the amp draw that freezes up your read switch and causes so much problems but I got it done using this incandescent bulb and here's the a little radio so you can hear it run and uh, what this is doing is picking up the spark on the read switch that the radio can hear but anyway, that's uh, really, really interesting, and I tried different coils, and I think you could probably wind it up on a bobbin, too, using just a solid cord, phone cord. You'll have to Google that to find it, but you have to use solid cord. It can't be multi-strand. It has to be solid core, that stuff. But anyway, um, I just found that very, very interesting, that if you put this uh, bulb, it's a 3-ohm uh, resistance, and then you put it in series and that drops the current down. Now if I pull the um, pull the battery and put a super cap in here that I filled up with about three volts. Watch what happens here. I'll put the radio back up so you can hear it. Of course, it speeds up. Did you see how much brighter it is with the higher voltage? Now, what I expected to happen here was this to drain down right away and the thing would just stop. But that thing ran for over 15 minutes. And I don't know how the dynamics of the Ohm's Law works with this, uh, but as your voltage drops off, this gets dimmer and dimmer. Of course, the current is uh, another factor in there, but I found that really, really interesting that you could take a very small coil, and these work too, these smaller coils, but you could also wind it up on a bobbin just using that kind of wire, doesn't that thing magnet wire, and get a pulse motor to work. And like I say, it was a spin-off of Granddad's uh, work trying to show the magnetic field around a wire as the current goes through the wire, it uh, creates a magnetic field, and he was trying to get his pulse motor to work with just a straight piece of wire. It's really hard. I tried, and I was going to try to use just the coil in the bulb, uh, having the current go through the coil in the bulb to turn the, the uh, wheel. I couldn't get it to work, but uh, then I switched over to just making these small coils. But anyway, that's the latest on my little uh, interesting project using a very small coil and an incandescent flashlight bulb, 3 volt flashlight bulb to drop the current down and get the thing to work. Thanks for watching.